Let's go into our Wuji stance. Feet about shoulder width apart, facing comfortably forward. Knees just slightly bent. Bring the hips forward so the tailbone points towards the floor. Feel like the top of the head is being lifted upward, elongating the spine. Bring the chin down and in just a bit. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, take a nice big inhale. Bring the shoulders up to your ears and then blow out the mouth and let the shoulders sink. Just let them relax, sink a little further. Let's do that again. Breathe in. One more time. And let the shoulders roll forward a little bit so the arms come around in front of you. Away from the body. Breathing in and out through the nose. And as you breathe in, let the abdomen expand outward, drawing the breath all the way down. Pause. And then with the exhalation, abdomen contracts back towards the spine, pushing the breath up and out the nose. And then we pause again before the next inhalation. Bring your attention to the breath. Try to have your entire focus just on the breath. Use all your senses focused on the breath. But any other thoughts just fade away. And shift your attention to your feet. Shift your weight around a little bit. Feel all the parts of your feet making contact with the ground. And then come back to a point of stillness. Feel that connection all the way to the center of the earth. I'm aware of the earth rising up to support you, to merge with you. I'm aware of that sense of grounding sense of being a part of the earth. Step out to a little wider stance. Nice and stable. Breathe in. Open the chest, push the shoulder blades together. Breathe out, one arm over the other, as far around the 
back as you can. Really just kind of squish your hands and fingers. Pull that a little bit tighter. Squeezing the chest, opening up the shoulder blades. Breathe in. Breathe out. Switch arms. One more time each side. Good, let the arms drop down. Even a little wider stance, start shifting your weight side to side. And just let your arms swing with that momentum. Look up to the side, throw the hands even higher, slightly behind you. And gradually slow it down, coming to a stop. Bring the hands up and around, form a nice big circle. Palms up as you go up, palms down as you go down the back. Make the circles as large as you can comfortably with all the postures. Stay within your comfort zone. You should never feel any pain or discomfort. If you do limit the motion, take it back into the comfort zone. One more time, then we're going to reverse. So come down. I'm going to go back, up and over. All right, one more time and just settle for a moment. It's just nice big shoulder rolls. So we're gonna bring them up the back over the, and then down the front. One more in reverse. So up the front, down the back. Mm 
And slowly come to a stop. Good, bringing your feet in a little bit. Palms facing up as you breathe in, bring the energy up through the soles of the feet. Up the torso, hands come to the left shoulder, palms facing you. Look at that outer palm, your left hand. You're going to turn the palms away from you as you look to the right and you push with the heels of your hands, pulling the fingers back just a little bit. Pause and then you breathe in as you follow that palm coming at you. Pause. Breathe out as you push away and look away. Dragon spreads its tail. One more. This time as you bring it in, come all the way into the chest. Breathe in, breathe out, push the energy down into the ground. Breathe in, bring up fresh energy. Hands come to the right shoulder. Breathe out, push away and look away. Breathe in, breathe out. more time. Breathe into the chest, breathe out as you push it down to the ground. Bring the arms up. Turn your left palm up, right palm down. Look to the right as far as you can comfortably. Turn the thumb on the right hand down and back, the thumb on the left hand up and back. Turn the entire arm. Then as you look to the left, we change positions. Nice and slow. You can synchronize this with the breath. Breathing out as you turn to the side, breathing in as you come back to center. Make sure to turn the entire arm, not just at the wrist. One more time each side. Good, back to center. Again, just a couple of quick, easy shoulder rolls, just to let things loosen up. Bring your hands behind you, palms together, fingers facing down. Bring them as high up on the back as you can comfortably. You need to leave them down here, it's fine. If you can bring them up higher, that's fine. 
We're going to pull the elbows back, pushing the fingers, or the, especially the knuckles of the thumbs, deeper into the spine. Bring the head down so the chin just rests on the chest. Just breathe nice and easy here. Let just loosen up. Each time you breathe out, see if the, you can bring the chin a little bit closer to the chest, the head a little further down. Good, now very gently roll the head over so that the ear is pointing towards the left shoulder. Lift the chin just a bit, drop the head so the ear approaches the left shoulder. Feel the stretch all along the right side of the neck. Uh, gently roll the head so the chin comes back to the chest. Let it just hang and relax. Don't push it. Take a couple of nice deep breaths here. And now roll the head to the right. Ear facing the right shoulder, lift the chin up just a bit, then let the head drop towards the right shoulder. Nice deep breaths. Good. Roll the head, bringing the chin to the chest again. Just let it relax. Drop the hands down, shake them out. Let's do some shaking from the knees. So just let the rest of the body relax as we go up and down from our knees. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. I'm gonna purge on this one. Bring your hands up so they're over your head. Keep shaking the arms up. This is a great one for the lymphatic system. Bring the arms down, just again, continue to shake it, especially the wrists. Then turn them over, bring them in front of you. Face, palms facing down. 
Bring the arms back down, a little more shaking. And then just slowly come to a stop. You just become very aware of all that energy now moving through the body. Bring your hands up to your face. If you can feel all that energy coming out of the palms, out of the loud gong points. Just turn a lazy circle around your face, nice and slow. Feel that energy massaging every part of your face. Penetrating the skin into the muscles, the bones, the internal organs. And reverse. Good. I'm going to do a stop. Come up over the top of the head, down the back, follow the jawline, and come back around again. Nice and slow. Feel that energy again, just kind of massaging. All those muscles relaxing. Good. One more time. Bring it to your neck. Put the hands over your throat and gently raise your chin and stroke downward. Now continue to stroke, but go further down into the chest. and come to a stop. Bring your hands behind you so that you're supporting the skull with your hand, your thumbs and first fingers on the neck. Now take the thumbs on either side of your spine right up into the juncture between the skull and your neck muscles here. Just give a little bit of a circle on either side of the spinal column. And move about a quarter of an inch, do it again. Now another quarter of an inch, basically you can't go any further. It's gonna be a little like bone spur there. Get in there. Good. To beating the heavenly drum. So we're going to tap this back section we've just been massaging with our index finger 24 times. We're going to have our palms over our ears. So you're going to have to drop your arms down when you're finished. So I know when everyone's done. Now you can do it two ways. You can either just tap with your index finger or you can put the index finger on your middle finger and kind of snap. I kind of like that better. 
just a little firmer. So you're gonna bring it around, put your hands over your ears 24 times. Now we're going to take our palms, we're going to press them against the ear, and then we're going to kind of pull away to make a little bit of suction. Do, th do that three times. One, two, three. Take using your palms, rub your ears. Good, your ears should feel nice and warm, activating all of the parts of the body. I haven't done teacups in a while. It's a little hard to do online, I understand, but it's one of my favorite postures. So let's try it. Don't worry too much about turning the palm over, but try to keep it upright as best you can. We call it teacups because the idea is imagine that you're holding two full cups of tea and you're going to rotate those teacups 360 degrees without spilling any of the tea. So let's do two handed teacups. A lot of it depends on moving your hips forward and back. So with your hands forward, your hips are back. As I bring my hands back, my hips come forward. I bring the hands inside until the fingers are pointing back. Then I bring the hips back again as my hands come around the outside. They come forward. Then I bend backwards as the hips come forward over my head, around and back to the beginning. Nice and slow. Make believe you have Lipton tea in your teacup, so if you spill it, it's fine. But you want to try to avoid dropping the cups. So be mindful of where your palms are facing. A lot of people have a tendency to turn the hands down. Try to see if you can keep the palms flat, facing the ceiling the entire time. Make sure your entire body gets into this. Steve, could you do that one super slow? We're kind of missing something. Thank sure. you. Because <laughs> I know it's My awesome pleasure. once you get it. Oh, it's great. Yeah, but it does. It's a little tricky. It does take a little time. I also move a little closer to the camera. So we're going to start like this. We're going to come in, rotate the fingers, lean back, bring it around in front, over the head, and back. Anyone else wants me to do something different, please just let me know. I'm happy to do it. Need to slow down even more. That's certainly possible. The idea here is really you want to get into this flow. 
once you do, it becomes magical. But it can be frustrating in the beginning, and I understand that. Don't allow yourself to get frustrated. Work within your limitations and allow it to just evolve. So if you find your hands are turning over, don't worry about it. It will happen eventually. Couple more times. And come back. Good, hopefully that was okay. Now you can also do it in reverse. We, when we were starting like this, we can do this way. So I'm coming forward over my head, coming out from the hips. For some people, the opposite direction is easier. And then of course, we're gonna get into one-handed. And for some people, one-handed is easier. And for some people, two-handed is easier. Work with, Whatever kind of works for you and let it evolve, as I said. Last one. Good, everybody okay? Let's try one-handed. Now there are a couple of things you can do with one-handed. One of the nice things that you can do is with two-handed, we've been going front to back. With one-handed, you can make it very much side to side. So put your left hand on your hip, just kind of get it out of the way. Bring your right hand up, and I would assume that's easier for most people being right. Most people are being righties. If you want to switch, that's fine. So here what we're going to do is we're going to shift our weight. We're gonna bring it across the body, turn, then shift back, come around. So it's sort of, you know, side to side. Sorry. I shifted, I lost my concentration. <laughs> See, now I'm gonna, so there we go. Gotta remember to turn the hands to the back. So doing it this way, you're moving the hips side to side. There's no reason you can't do it the same as we were doing it before, keeping it in front of you. And working the hips front to back. One more time. Good. And again, of course, you can do the opposite.
Last one. Good. Now let's do the opposite arm. Might be a little tougher. Whichever one felt better in terms of either doing it side to side or doing it front to back, do whatever feels right. Don't worry about it. Good, everybody looks like they're doing pretty well. One more time and then we're gonna go the opposite direction. So now we go around and back over the head. One more time. Good, come back. Nice, shake it out a little bit. Let's do a couple of hip circles, get everything on kind of loosen up. So just from the hips. Reverse. Now figure eights. So I, I like to kind of watch the elbows here. So I've got my left elbow mirroring you out forward. I'm gonna bring that back. That brings the right elbow forward. And then I shift just side to side, back to back. Notice the hips then are making a figure eight, emulating all those spirals in nature, getting the energy to spiral. A couple more and then we're going to reverse. Good, so now they come forward. This is almost like skating backwards. And slowly come to a stop. Good. Bring your feet fairly close together. Palms together. We're going to bend down. Come down into a crouch. We're going to breathe in. We're going to bring our hands all the way up above our head and do palms together, then we're going to push the palms together as we lift the elbows and crouch down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. One more time. 
Good. Come around. Feet the same position. Drop down. And lift the heels off the floor so they're just on your toes. Make it a little more difficult. Bring your arms around in front. And just bounce a little bit here. Good, come on up. Using the legs, not the back. Bring the palms facing up. Breathe in, come all the way up. Back of the hands touch, stretch upwards. Breathe out, palms facing down. Pause, breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Next one we're going to do, instead of going up, we're going to kind of wiggle to the sides. Feel it more along the rib cage. Breathe out. One more time. Good, bring your hands down. Bring them up into prayer, well, palms touching each other with the fingers facing down. We're gonna bring them up the midline of the body. Then we're gonna rotate so the fingers start to point out, push out, then the fingers rotate back down. Pushing the palms together the entire time. Circling the chi for the Shivasha two set. Good. One more time. Step out to a little wider stance so you're nice and stable. Imagine you're scooping up energy and then bringing it into the middle dantian. So we're getting this circle. So now we're gonna get both hands involved. So the left hand comes up as the left hand goes down, the right hand comes up. Nice and slow. Scooping the energy and bringing it right into the body. Couple more. As you're doing that, step out to a wider stance and slow it down. Both palms facing downward. Try to feel the surface of the water here. 
We're going to turn to the left. So we're going to rotate on our heel. We're going to lean back. Then we're going to push the waves. Then with the hands facing towards the ground, the water, we're going to come along the water surface. We're going to change now to the right. Lean back. Push. Breathe into the center. Breathe out as you push. One more time. Good, come back to the center. And let's just kind of differentiate that from pushing and pulling the waves. Pushing and pulling the waves, we go into the bow stance facing the left. So the left foot facing forward, right foot is back about a 45 degree angle. Hands up by the chest. We're gonna lean forward, push forward. Then we're going to drag it back to the chest. The same basic movement, but we're staying on the same side. We're not shifting side to side. By doing that, we're shifting our weight much more in the legs. Breathe in as you pull it in. Pause. Breathe out as you push out. Pause, gather the energy, pull it in. Take energy that no longer serves you, send it out to be recycled. One more time. So we're going to push out. Hands facing the floor. We're going to change the opposite side. Both stance now on the right. And then we start back and forth on the right side. One more time, when we go back to the center, so we push out, hands to the flat, back to the center. This position, let's go into the moon over the leg. So keeping that wide stance, we're gonna shift our weight to the right. That moves our arms to the right. Then we're just gonna let them float up as we shift our weight to the left. And then they float back down. Arms facing downward the entire time. I like to do breathing out as I float up. Pause, breathe out as I float down. Pause. Hands nice and relaxed. Nice and slow. Try to slow it down. Make sure the hands aren't going up too high. If you go up high, it forces the palms to face forward. So we're just coming up to a little higher than head height and then floating down. I'm not lifting the shoulders. One more time, then we're going to reverse. So we're going to come up, go across, go down, go across, now switch. Go across again and up and over.
one more time. Around to the center. Good. Walk it in. Feet as close together as comfortable. Bring down the heavens. Turn the palms up as you breathe in, gathering the energy. Pause, push that energy down through the top of your head, down the torso, down the legs into the ground to be recycled. Again, breathe in. Pause, breathe out. Pause, last one, breathe in. Breathe out. Finish with one palm over the other, over your lower dantian. Try to feel the energy coming out of the palms, being absorbed by the lower dantian. It's helpful, imagine the lower dantian is this little pearl inside you. And the energy coming out of your palms, visualize that as white light. So that white light is being absorbed by the little pearl. That pearl gets brighter, whiter. See if you can feel any change in temperature, either the abdomen getting warmer or getting cooler. We feel the energy differently at different times, that's fine. Once the lower dantian is, has as much energy as it can take, allow the energy now to cascade down the legs and up the torso. And as it spirals through your body, let your body relax and rock and sway. Let the energy move your body as it's removing any darkness, any energetic stagnation or blockages, dispelling negative thoughts and emotions. So every part of your body is aglow with this wonderful loving light. And let that energy expand outward encasing you in a protective cocoon. And while you float weightlessly inside this cocoon, become aware of what it feels like to be safe, to be healthy, to be at peace. Take a deep breath in. Gather those energies and those feelings and take them with you for the rest of the day. Thank you.